Are you someone who's committed to his or her professional growth? Are you someone who wants to learn how to learn? Or are you simply someone who's stuck in his professional journey? If the answer to any of those questions is yes, then my friend this video is for you. Hi, my name is Varun and I'm the author of the book Books, Ideas and You. If there is one thing which I've learned during this time of pandemic, it is that the people that have suffered the most have been the ones that have simply not upgraded themselves. And then there is the other group which is grown from strength to strength during the time of pandemic. So the question really arises as to what is the difference between these two groups? And the answer lies in just one simple word and the word is perspective. You see, every situation that we come across, uh we have an opportunity versus crisis game going on, which means that we have a choice that we perceive a particular situation as opportunity or we perceive this as a crisis. If we perceive this as an opportunity, we would grow from strength to strength because we would look at the positive side of everything. We would look at what is it that this situation is going to teach us? What can I learn from the situation? How can I grow from the situation? So even if I fail into it, what do I learn from that? The people that perceive this as a crisis look at everything which is going on, they feel sorry about it that it's happened in their life, right? And they move from one negative feeling to another negative feeling. It's like a vicious circle, right? It simply drowns you. So the question really arises as to how can you ensure that you move from one group to the other which is the crisis group to the opportunity group how do you make that journey or how do you take that journey i'll tell you you see you have to understand something which is very very important the one golden rule which will help you transform from the crisis group to the opportunity group is that if you remember that learning is simply a lifelong exercise if you continue to strive to grow if you want to continue to strive to grow you have to simply learn day to day not just one day two day but every day a challenge which a lot of people face across is that they are generally so much involved in their day to day activities whether it's their job profession business whatever it is they simply fail to pay attention to their learning environment i like to call it by saying that look they simply forget to give any fuel to their growth engine and the way to overcome this is that you need to step aside for a moment occasionally and just you know oversee as to where is it that you stand in the marketplace it simply means that at the end of the day you get paid for what value you bring to the market and uh, jim ron puts it best he said look you must work on yourself twice as hard as you work on your job So if you want to simply increase your value that you bring to the marketplace you have to continuously work on yourself and that's what learning comes in and when it comes to learning it's very important that you understand this uh one thing which you need to always pay attention to is that what is your return on investment as far as learning is concerned which means that if you have invested x number of hours in learning something versus y number of hours in learning something else what's getting you better return and in my experience i have seen the best return comes from the world of books imagine this somebody has written an autobiography in which they have compressed their 50 years of experience which you can read in 4 hours so 50 years in 4 hours there is simply no better return on investment i was just reading a book on startups in which some of the best learnings from the startups has been compiled together right or imagine a book like think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill the author did a 20 year project he interviewed 500 of the most successful people in the country and then he summarized their learnings as part of 16 lux success principles he further summarized the book into what we have in our hands right now think and grow rich imagine 20 years of project and you get a four year read right there in your hand right there is simply not a better return on investment that you get The other aspect which uh, I think is very important that people often come to me and say that look Varun okay you understand I understand what you're saying uh, books are the way forward 
and I want to become a good reader. I want to become an active reader, but I'm just not there yet. I have tried many times. I've failed many times. Sometimes I've tried for a month or two. I'm just not able to build up this habit. And I tell them, I make them sit down <laughs> and I tell them, look, uh, at the end of the day, it's very important that you understand every habit you want to build takes time right so if it's if it's, it's about reading habit that you want to build up it will also take its time it will not happen overnight it will go through its ups and downs you just have to strive through it so what is it that you need to do two things first remember this thing very very important you just can't expect to go to a seminar once a year get yourself motivated and then forget about it right so a lot of people just visit a tony robbins seminar once a year a three day event which it is they are so much thrived they want to do so much for the next two days and the third day all the motivation goes away so what you really need to do is to make sure that as you feed your body with food or energy you need to continuously feed your mind with positive thoughts continue to motivate yourself every day and the other thing which is important for you to do is to take action right motivation without action doesn't really work i'll give you an example let's say you want to uh, let's say you've just learned uh, or you've just want you know gone to the gymnasium and you've gone for two days three days uh, just imagine this thing when are you more motivated when you're going to the gymnasium or when you're coming back right generally you will uh, you know look at it that you're much more motivated when you're coming back that's simply because when you're coming back you know your mind is such that look okay i did something which will help me in the long run and i'll go from there right so i think motivation helps you but action helps you more and that's where you need to understand this thing that every habit over a period of time needs you not just the motivation but action to succeed so let's say you plan to read 45 pages in a uh, in a single day and uh, let's say on that particular day you were able to read only 10 pages right uh i suggest please do not go too hard on yourself that day again it's that perception you know the perspective i was talking about the opportunity versus crisis game see if you look at this as an opportunity you would encourage yourself that okay fair enough i read 10 pages maybe the next day i'll read 15 maybe the next day i'll read 20 6 months down the line i'm there reading 45 pages right but if you look at this as a crisis again you would again think about focus on the things that have not worked right you would focus on that i want to read 45 pages but i just read 10 pages i'm a pathetic loser right and i think what happens is that when you again go into that negative spiral you strive away whatever progress you've made so at the end of the day focus on what's working rather than what's not working and that's very 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 important The other thing which people complain a lot of times is that uh, okay I've read a book but uh, two two weeks down the line I simply forget everything from that book and you know I've just read this book but I just don't know how to activate the learnings from this book take them into my professional or personal career and I tell them look there are two types of learning one is something which is known as passive learning and the other thing is active learning so when you talk about active learning it simply means that you are involved in the process right you simply paying attention to what you are doing right now you're not distracted here and there uh, a simple example could be let's say that again you read 10 pages versus 45 pages in that 10 pages that you read you were actively involved you were taking notes right you were writing something down you are you are completely focused on this and the other 45 pages let's take take that example that when you were reading those 45 pages you were completely distracted you got your friends to call you in between you had this messages exchange with someone you had the television on right you were conversing with someone when you were reading so the kind of value you would drive from reading those 10 pages would be much much more as compared to those 45 pages that you would have read and that's the idea of ensuring that you engage in the process right that's all about active learning uh and that's all about involvement right and this this question was raised to uh, bill gates and and you know uh, warren buffet they were asked that what is the one thing they will attribute their success to and they mentioned focus right 
and that simply meant they were involved in doing whatever they're doing right and if it works for them it certainly works for everyone else so i would suggest that the way you want to learn is the way you would want to actively get involved in the process so if you're reading a book on meditation then get yourself taking some action around it right start practicing that meditation on a daily basis and if you are reading a book on uh, let's say uh, effective communication skills start practicing those skills right that's active listening that's active learning in the, uh, actually right as compared to passive learning and that's the way it happens so even if you've read 10 pages one day don't go too hard on yourself go 15 pages 20 pages 30 pages 100 pages that's how it happens right so your daily habits become your weekly habits your weekly habits become your monthly habits your monthly habits become your yearly habits and that's how we strive towards your goal very very important uh the other important aspect about learning is that uh see you need to understand that that we have uh, two types of minds and we have i'm sure you've heard of it there is something which is known as a subconscious mind uh the mind that controls our behavior right so sometimes when you read a book uh uh i'm simply not able to make myself believe that what's mentioned in the book is something i can do something about let's say you read a book about increasing your wealth think and grow rich right again but if your mind is not conditioned in a way that you think this will work for me it simply will not work for you right and you keep the book aside and you forget everything so what you also need to do at the same time is to actively train your mind the subconscious mind and there have been lot of techniques which have been talked about in the book as well that i've written uh, wherein you start conditioning your mind towards a certain goal that you would want to perceive you would want to make yourself believe that you can do it right doing is one thing but before that you have to continuously make yourself believe that you can do it and that's absolutely absolutely very very important the moment that triggers again we go back to the same point because if your subconscious mind is trained if you are processing the information if you are learning every day uh, you know if you are continuing to sort of strive and grow from strength to strength then your perspective naturally shifts towards an opportunity as compared to a crisis game right your mindset is such that you naturally start perceiving everything as an opportunity and that's where the journey starts right and that's how you complete the journey from a crisis group to an opportunity group uh i'll give you my example i uh eight years back i was struggling to be a part of this group i knew i just knew that i had to do something different professionally i was not there i was not happy about it personally relationships not going as great so i decided to consciously make effort to learn something every day right i moved uh from this crisis group to the opportunity group by thriving every day ensuring that i learn something every day making sure that i make some kind of progress wherein uh, no matter even if i'm not making as much progress as i thought i would naturally thrive and do something more something more something more every day and and i, and I just go back to the same lesson i have talked about rook that learning is a lifelong exercise right and if you're just willing to learn you know and i'll tell you a lot of uh, people don't understand this that a lot of challenges that they come across a lot of questions that are going in their head if you're just willing to learn and invest in the process all the questions are uh, all the answers are getting all the questions are answered in your life right and the books if you look at it they have answered all the questions you can think of all the challenges that you have come across whether it's you're struggling uh, you know uh, whether it's growing yourself mentally physically emotionally spiritually all the answers are there right you just have to know where to look that's all and i i honestly think that if i can take that journey then i'm sure anybody can take that journey thank you so much